They are Vikings rookies report to Mankato tomorrow, then the Vets later in the week. Their last time they will journey to Minnesota State University in Mankato. But current players are more concerned about bouncing back from a subpar last season. A good time to sit down with one of the leaders, Harrison Smith. Harrison, you've had a chance to digest uh, last season, and now you do it as a veteran. You, you know what to look for. What, what does that do for you going into this season? Yeah, you know, you kind of try to learn something new every year and add to your game and, and add to your off season and how you can improve. Um, but, you know, I've played five years, but still haven't reached the ultimate goal. And that's, you know, that's, that's what I'm playing for, and that's, that's what we're playing for, so that's the focus. It seems like you're just here holding up your jersey, first-round draft pick, you and Matt Khalil. Uh, it goes quick, but what, what does this league, has it been everything that you thought it would be? It has been most of what I thought it would be. I, like I said, I still want to accomplish a lot more. Um, but as far as what I've been able to learn, uh, guys I've been able to play with, coaches I've played for, uh, you know, I've been, I've been very fortunate and I uh, just want to you know, kind of keep building on that. It took a while maybe, but you and Mike Zimmer seem to speak the same language, so to speak, when you talk about defensive concepts and understanding where to be. Kind of like you said, uh, being able to speak the, the same language, that's something that, you know, when he got here, it obviously was not the case. Yeah. He had to learn how he was coaching us, what exactly he wants out of us. Now he can, you know, he'll just look at you or say one thing and you know, you, you know, you know what, where, you know, he wants you to, to align different or to play something a little different. So still, still learning from him and we'll always be learning from him, uh, but at least can, can kind of pick up what he's, what he's throwing out a lot faster. And uh, I think that, I think that's across the board. What does it mean to be a leader now in this team? You get in the league, you just try to prove yourself, and now guys are looking at you and wanting to see what you do and emulate you. Yeah, I think, I think when I was new to the new to the league and a younger guy, I always looked up to certain people and being able to take take things from each of them and try to try to keep that for myself and and, and add those things. And then once you're in that position, you know how they handled things and, and just the way they approached the game and prepared for games and set, set solid examples for the rest of the guys, uh, I think is the most important thing. A player that took part in last season's Super Bowl was in town today. Rashid Hageman is a defensive tackle for the Atlanta Falcons. He grew up in Minneapolis and, of course, attended Washburn. He came back to put on a one-day camp for kids in the area, the same way another local native did for him that went on to the NFL, and that motivated Rashid as a kid. To Larry Fitzgerald's camp, uh, I feel like that was uh, a camp where I kind of knew that if I ever did make it or was in a, uh, the next level that I would give back. And I've had so many coaches and uh, mentors let me know and tell me that it's just part of the process. You know, once you make it, you got to uh, thank the village that raised you. And that's what I'm doing.